All right, moving on steadily. Here are the fives. And uh, we'll start with, I guess if the ladder is my favorite image in the deck, my second favorite is probably this uh, square rig ship. Um, the five of spades, you can think of this as exploration, new experiences, travel time. That's the numerological association of five. And uh, the five of spades is, is a big transformation. So usually moving to a new place or traveling to a new place. Um, and instead of using an airplane as we would normally today, I'm using an old square rig ship. There's a reason for that. It's because this is a very specific ship. Uh, this is the ship that was captained by my uncle, Captain Sam Gearing. And uh, this is the, no, known uh, to us when I was a kid as the Unicorn. I've researched the history of this vessel, um, and it was originally built in Sweden, uh, and then it became um, it was a it was a um, merchant uh, shipping vessel uh, in its in its origins, and in I think the late 1800s, maybe early, early 1900s, and then uh, it was brought to the Americas and used by my uncle as a boat for juvenile delinquents. He would, he would uh, captain this ship and uh, young uh, kids who got in trouble who were put into some sort of uh, juvenile center uh, would, were given the option, or their parents were given the option, I'm not sure exa exactly how it worked, to learn to become um, sailors. And they would join the ship uh, and they would sail down the, to the coast uh, of the U.S. and to the Caribbean, and uh, they'd learn everything to learn on a ship and discipline and order. And my uncle was the captain of that before he became an oil barge captain in Africa. And uh, so there was always a love for this vessel. We had pictures of it. We had the napkin, the napkin, the placemats from the ship uh, in our house. I think we still have some of those. Um, but the the story gets even more interesting. Uh, after it was the, the unicorn, uh, we, we lost track of it for a long time, and then the movie Pirates of the Carib Caribbean or Caribbean came out, uh, the one with Johnny Depp, and uh, in that movie there is a ship called the Interceptor. Uh, so whenever he has to go catch the Black Pearl um, in the story, he takes over the Interceptor, which is the fastest ship on the British fleet, and that ship used for the movie is this vessel, the Brig Unicorn. Uh, it later was used in the Caribbean as a uh, tourist cruise, uh, you know, sailing ship. And uh, whoever was running that sank it. So somewhere near Belize, maybe, I'm not sure exactly where, uh, somewhere in the Caribbean. No, it's more in, anyway, you can look it up, uh, Brig Unicorn. Um, it is a sunken ship now that is that is frequented by uh, scuba diving tours. Now, even more interesting, uh, my daughter, when she was born, we named her Lyra, uh, L-Y-R-A. Um, and that is not a common name. Uh, we, my, my wife and I, I think originally found it in the uh, Pullman novels, uh, The Golden Compass and, uh, and those. Uh, there's a character named Lyra, the main character. And uh, strangely enough, the original name of the unicorn, which I don't even think my uncle knew, was the Lyra. So it's a very wonderful, serendipitous connection um, uh, in the history. And uh, I always am happy looking at this image of this ship. Now, moving on to the Five of Hearts, we have the star. And a uh, star is a positive card. The star is about finding our connections to our personal meaning for ourselves and the direction to get where we want to go, how to get to our goals. The, the star is showing us the way. We will find our direction and uh, follow your heart really is kind of how that, how that manifests when we look at it as the five of hearts. Uh, this image of a compass rose star is very important in Scandinavia. The last, um, one of the last places I traveled to before COVID hit was a, a, a Scandinavian cruise. And, and everywhere you go, 
in the, the Scandinavian countries as well as Finland and Russia, you will find these compasses on the ground. Uh, it is also a, a symbol for sailors and direction. And there's a lot of themes in sailing um, and, and things that I learned from my uncle through the fives and these images. Five of hearts would be uh, using this exploration to find your own personal direction. Five of clubs is a mysterious doorway. And the doorway you can think of as going into the unknown to learn about yourself, learn about who you are, know yourself better. And that's really the whole point of, of an oracle deck, any oracle deck or tarot deck, is to uh, know, the Saiton, know thyself. And um, that's actually a phrase that was carved on the wall inside the Oracle of Delphi and even in hieroglyphics on the ancient Egyptian temples is to know thyself because when you know yourself and you go inward and you learn about yourself, you're learning about consciousness as it's manifested in you. And by learning about inner consciousness, you were learning about God. You're learning about the outer consciousness or that which with everything is created and continues to be created. Uh, that's a, <laughs> a head full there. Um, so don't be afraid of the mystery. Um, it's kind of like, I think of this card as that time whenever you, let's say you're doing a deep breathing exercise for the first time and, and, and you have that moment of fear. You can even have it uh, when taking uh, psychedelics or you can have it when taking, um, uh, when doing a gong bath. I had this feeling of sort of having to let go of the ego to go into the great unknown uh, because that's where we learn. That's where we progress and sort of level up. Um, so that's p the power of meditation, the power of, of inner unconscious space. Five of Diamonds is, is exploring in um, trade. It, the, the diamond in this, uh, the, the material diamond in here, the, the material connection is money, but it's an ancient form of money in the, the cowrie shells. Uh, the cowrie shell is a symbol of fertility in many cultures. You find them in Chinese culture, but you'll find it most poignantly in African cultures. Uh, you look at the shape that is a shape of uh, the vulva and uh, a, a fertility symbol in itself. But it was used for many years as uh, a trading bead, as a, um, as a form of money. You would trade um, cowrie shells. So um, this would be using exploration to trade. So finding a way to explore the world and, and new avenues of trade um, also can be a card of fertility uh, because of the imagery used. I hope you enjoyed that. Moving on to six. 